Hello, my name is Franz Reimers. I'm the uh, class product manager for tractors for North America. So the reason why we do these benchmark tests, in this case with the uh, Axion on the TerraTrack, um, it costs us money to do these, but we also want to demonstrate to uh, our end customers what the benefits are. And the only way to do that is to have concrete and real results that uh, you know would benefit the end customer and not just, you know, we say so. We have an independent company involved in the uh, testing process, um, completely separate from us, that will then therefore give you the best independent answer that is verified um, to actually provide the benefits that we say we can. And that is why we go through the trouble and the money uh, spent on these benchmark projects uh, to be able to show you exactly what it does without us just saying so. I'm Rick Hubrick, the Regional Product Supervisor for Claws of America in the Canadian region. So today we're going to be comparing the Axion TT compared to the John Deere tractors in the field in real time, in real life. We're going to be checking for the effects of compaction, we're looking at horsepower, we're looking at performance, and what does that do to the bottom line and to the crop. We've got our independent agronomist Jen out here with us today and she's going to be checking for the effects of compaction and looking over the data and seeing how our tractor compares to the competition. Hi, I'm Jennifer Sabrin. I'm the research manager at Antero Agronomy. We are a third-party independent unbiased company based in St. Jean, Manitoba and today we are doing a compaction trial looking at the effects of the Axion TT, the John Deere RX and the John Deere RT have on emerging canola. really happy with how planting went today. We had a little shot of rain yesterday, soaked in and it provided us relief from any dust. The, the treatments went in very well and our next steps are to come back, watch for emergence. We're going to be counting plants inside and outside of the tracks across all treatment strips and then we will be doing all agronomics on this field and collecting all that data and summarizing it and bringing it to yield at the end of uh, at the end of the season, and uh, really looking forward to the to the data. Uh, with that, we did have a very positive result compared to what the competition was doing with their uh, tracked version of tractors. Um, our Terra track ended up having about a two bushel per acre benefit um, in harvest, um, all conditions being equal. So the Axion uh, Terra track, uh, which comes in two versions on our 930 and our 960 model, uh, the way it is uh, designed by Kloss is it's a half track. Uh, with a front assist uh, regular wheeled um, steering axle. Um, the reason why we do that is we have the uh, load bearing axle on the rear um, with the biggest flotation with the track as well as it provides uh, superior traction. Uh, yet we have the ability to steer um, in the field without uh, scuffing up the headlands severely and piling dirt in the process. And that's why we end up with a better yield at the end of the year, because not only do we have the benefit in the straight line, we also have it on the headland. Uh, Klaas is an innovative company. We like to improve and tinker with just about everything we uh, put our minds to and that we bring to the market so that we can benefit um, the customer's bottom line to the max. Yes, we are not necessarily always the uh, least expensive in the market when it comes to price point, but with the benefits that we really offer uh, due to our improved fuel economy, um, life of the machine, uh, reduced downtime, you, such things as uh, are obviously going to affect the bottom line of any producer uh, massively. 
Uh, that is what we focus on as we be able to provide to the customers a end product that over the life, life of the product itself will provide the least amount of cost to operate and the most amount of uptime uh, while it is operating.